Hello, this is Kate with Computer Care Kelowna, and today I'm going to show you how to back up your Windows Mail messages and your contacts. So we're talking about Vista, Windows Mail, and Vista contacts. We're going to back those up to a, a little folder that we create, and then you can take that folder and either burn it to a CD or DVD if you're doing that, or transfer that to a flash drive. And why would you want to do that? Well, because you might want when you get a new computer to move your mail and your contacts to it and this is an easy way to do that. Even if you're not planning on getting a new computer, if you do this every so often, you'll have a backup of your important emails and your contacts. So it's all good and it's all straightforward. And here we go. All right, the first thing we want to do is create a folder right on the desktop somewhere so that, uh, that we can put our stuff into it and then later either transfer that folder to a flash drive or burn it. So right click on a blank spot on the desktop, select new, select folder. We've created a new folder, name it something informative. I'm going to name mine email backup because it's informative. Uh, next, open up Windows Mail. Windows Mail, here it is. Let's start by uh, saving the contacts. So to do that, we're going to go to File, Export, Windows Contacts, and uh, our, the correct choice here is CSV. That's what we want. Now we click on export and it wonders where. We're going to send it to our, our folder on the desktop so it's going to be in the folder called email backup. We have to give it a, a, a name so um, let's call it contacts so that uh, we know what it is and save it. So it's going to my desktop, a folder called Email Backups, and here we go. Now, they've checked some boxes for you. Most people are just happy with the boxes that are checked, but if you think that you might even have some information in your contacts in these other fields, just go ahead and check all the boxes because that's really easy to do and on the back end it's easier to deal with. So I clicked OK, I had a little progress bar and now Windows is telling me that my contacts have been exported in the format I chose to the location I selected. So I can close all that and just because I'm always skeptical, I just want to see if it went to the location I selected, and indeed it did. Here's my folder, here's my file called contacts, and my folder called email backup. So that's good. Now, in order to um, export our messages, it's, you know, it's just not as simple as clicking on messages because you know, it's only going to save them to exchange or to, to what they are, and we don't want that, trust me. So what we want to do is locate the folder in which all of those messages live, and that's the folder we're going to copy over. How do we find it? Well, we go to Tools, we go to Options, and then we go to advanced and uh, maintenance and store folder. I know that's not intuitive but trust me this is going to work. Okay so the store location is the folder in which all our email messages are stored and this is it. So what we want to do is highlight this entire thing, right click and say copy and then just cancel out and close everything okay don't change anything just copy it and cancel it and then very important close your 
Windows Mail because we don't want to be messing around in the store folder while Windows Mail is trying to send and receive mail. Bad things can happen. Okay, so now we know where that folder is. We just have to get there. And we do that by clicking on Start and then on Run. And then just press the Control key and the V key, V for Victor, at the same time. And that pastes in what we just copied. Say OK. And here we are. This is the contents of the Windows Mail folder. Now we don't want to waste our time copying each and every one of these little things. We want to actually move up a level. So click on the Microsoft. You see that Windows Mail is still highlighted here. So make sure, make sure that Windows Mail is highlighted. It's, it's usually blue. Right click and say copy. And if you have a lot of mail, give that a minute. It's going to take some time. Now we can open up our email backup folder, right click, and say paste. And uh, like yours will probably take longer. I don't really have any mail in Windows Mail. But here's our folder. And you can see that it contains the same stuff as the folder we just copied it from. So that's all good. Now, um, if we want to copy it to a hard drive or a, a little flash drive, this is the time to do it. Go to Computer. Um, my flash drive, this one is called V8. So I can just open up my flash drive and drag this guy over here. And uh, I know that looked like it was fast, but it's still copying. Okay, it's done. It's copied over there. We can just double check. You know, all our stuff is there. And our contacts are here too. So there it is. It's on the flash drive. You can safely remove your flash drive or your external hard drive if that's what it is. And you have your stuff and you can get rid of this folder because it's just a copy of the thing that you have now on your external drive and your email. Uh, if you need to um, to burn this then use whatever program you have that will burn a CD or a DVD. This is the folder you want to burn. I hope that has answered your question. Thanks for watching, and uh, please visit us at computercarecolona.com.